Everybody wants increase and, and abundance and lifestyle change and new zip codes and new area codes, but you only read once a week and you only work out once or twice a month. And so the, the reason why you don't have what it is that you see, the reason why what's in your head is not in your hands, it's not your reality, is because your perspective opposes your potential. You don't have it because you don't see the value in it. If you believe you've been called to be the difference maker, the game changer, the disruptor, the person that comes into a room and commands the atmosphere. If you believe you've been called to be necessary and not grossly irrelevant, then everything you do, everything you see, everything rises and falls on your perspective, your perception, your viewpoint. How do you see this thing? What happens when your perspective your perception diametrically opposes your reality if you are going to give and grow and evolve and attain and become everything rises and falls on your viewpoint show me somebody that hates to work out and I'll show you a man that almost lost his life and the doctor said if you don't work out you'll die one sees it as cumbersome one sees it as a problem another one sees it as a privilege he sees it as his second chance, his new lease on life, that I have to work out. I get to work out. I get a chance to live a little longer. So one person sees the gym as a prison, and another person sees the gym as a passport. One man came within inches of losing his life, and another man has never come within a hundred miles of losing his life, and he only works out twice a month, and somebody else works out four or five times a week, the reason why you only do it once or twice a month is because you don't see the value. Your viewpoint is either your advantage or your assassin. Your viewpoint will either get you going or get you killed. I must work out X amount of times a week. I must forgive. I must evolve. I must become. I must retain, I must grow, I must live, I must evolve, I must go to the next level, I must live in this type of house, I must drive this type of car. I don't care how bad you think the shoes are that you are wearing, there is another man in this world who will kill to walk a mile in the pair that you wear. Marcus, what does this mean? This means that what you are complaining about, what you hate, what you can't stand, what you want to walk out of, what you want to give up on. There is somebody out there that would die to be in your position. And so here's what I need you to ask yourself. Is this problem an issue or is it an opportunity? Some of you, all you've been waiting for your whole life was an opportunity. What if losing your job was the opportunity? What if the divorce is an opportunity? What if the bankruptcy is an opportunity? What if the one you love was an opportunity for you to reconnect with somebody and forgive them? I need you to see the bigger picture. I need you to have a little gratitude. You need to learn how to smile. You need to work out. I know you hate the gym. I know you hate to lift weights. I know you hate cardio. I know you don't like drinking water. I know you don't like taking care of your temple. You think it's the hardest thing to do in the world to commit. But there is somebody who's in the grave today. And if they had another opportunity to live, they would enthusiastically, with great confidence and courage and consistency, do what you hate just to live a little longer. Find the positive. See the bigger picture. Guard your gratitude. The trial, the tribulation, the adversity, the giant is not your assassin. The giant is your opportunity. Are you going to complain in the face of conflict? Or are you going to seize the opportunity? I don't care what it is that you're trying to achieve, what you're trying to accomplish, what you're trying to give, how you're trying to evolve, what you are looking to become. Everything rises and falls on your perspective.